Today is all about playing with other musicians. I say it like that because, well, today I'm with a drummer. Now, because you're playing soprano saxophone, you're obviously the pack leader. And you need to assert your dominance right away by showing them your battle cry. Hey, Dave, you ready to play, man? <laughs> When setting the band up, make sure everyone has the appropriate amount of space. Man, I feel good. This feels, feels like a good setup to get ready to play. All right, man, let's play something. How about a groove in G major? Sure. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Way too loud, way too loud. We got to turn right. it. Sure. Here we go. One, two, three. Softer, not loud. Okay, can you just, just, come on, just try it again. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and... Okay, hold on, okay. All right, man, if you can't play the current volume, it's not gonna work out. Okay? All right, All right one more time. One, two, three... If, if you, whatever you did that time was great. Dude, I didn't even play. Perfect. Man, Dave, you sound really good. I know. I should have you in my band sometime. I have some gigs coming up. Dude, who would pay to see you play? It's really important to assert dominance because when you have an instrument this small, you have to have a big ego. I thought this was gonna be fun, but he's starting to be a real jerk. Hey, what? In the unlikely and horrifying event that you have to let the noisemakers solo, make sure you try to grab the attention away from them and put it right onto you. I hope this lesson will help you if you're forced to play with other people. I know it can be rough sometimes, but just remember to always keep the attention right on you. You're a jerk. Hey! 